Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Man, Embraer's Eve scores 200 airframe order as part of Halo program. Also, Merlin Lab raises money working towards building autonomous King Air Fleet. And Archer refutes Wisk IP theft claim. Hi, I'm Kimberly Kay. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. So let's start the show with Embraer's keeping busy after scoring a large order. Halo has placed a firm order of 200 EVE Urban Air Mobility Vehicles, making it the launch customer for this aircraft. The electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft have an expected delivery date of 2026. 100 of the vehicles will be used for operations in the United States and 100 will operate in the United Kingdom. In addition, Halo announced the alignment of UK-based Halo Aviation Limited Company and US-based Associated Aircraft Group under the Halo brand. Both companies have been acquired earlier this year by One Sky Flight, a member of the directional aviation family. Nearly a dozen eVTOL aircraft designs were evaluated before Halo selected EVE as its launch product to deliver its vertical lift vision. In selecting this aircraft and manufacturer, company leadership states that they assessed several elements that pointed to its future success. Incubated by Embraer, EVE combines the startup Embraer's 50 years of aerospace expertise. The 200 aircraft that Halo has ordered will begin delivery in 2026. Until then, Halo will continue to operate its Leonardo and Sikorsky helicopters as the EVTOL aircraft are phased into service. After the break, details on when is the next FAA UAS Symposium. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Registration is open for the 2021 FAA UAS Symposium. There is still time to register for Episodes 3 and 4 of the Virtual FAA Unmanned Aircraft System Symposium. The theme for this year's event is Above and Beyond, and it will take place on June 9th until the 10th and September 14th until the 15th. This is a unique opportunity to have your drone questions answered from leaders in the industry who will discuss future technologies and regulations that support the safe integration of drones into the national airspace system. The FAA and AVSI are co-hosting the symposium. OneWeb reports successful launch. OneWeb has confirmed the latest successful launch of 36 satellites by Air and Space from the Vitoskny Cosmodrone. This launch brings OneWeb a step closer to completing its 5 to 50 ambition and the possible start of commercial service by the end of the year. Liftoff occurred on May 28th. 
One web satellite separated from the rocket and were dispensed in nine batches over a period of three hours and 52 minutes with signal acquisition on all 36 satellites confirmed. NASA's Curiosity rover captures shining clouds on Mars. Cloudy days are rare in the thin, dry atmosphere of Mars. Clouds are typically found at the planet's equator in the coldest time of year, when Mars is the farthest from the Sun in its oval-shaped orbit. But one full Martian year ago, to Earth's years, scientists noticed clouds formed over NASA's Curiosity rover earlier than expected. This year, they were ready to start documenting these early clouds from the moment they first appeared in late January. What resulted are images in wispy puffs filled with ice crystals that scattered light from the setting sun, some of them shimmering with color. Be sure to mark your calendars. There will be a real live AUVSI Expo event in Atlanta, where you can show up in person and see the world of unmanned technology for yourself. The in-person event will take place on August 16th until the 19th at the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta, Georgia. The event will take place in Building C of the GWCC. ANN, of course, will be there. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Merlin Lab are working towards building autonomous King Air fleet. Merlin Labs has raised $25 million in funding from GV, formerly known as Google Ventures, and First Round Capital in order to pursue a 55 aircraft partnership with Dynamic Aviation and their Kink Air fleet. Merlin is reportedly building a certifiable autonomy system for complex fixed wing aircraft. The company claims to have demonstrated hundreds of autonomous missions on multiple aircraft types, including complex twin turboprop aircraft. Its autonomy platform is aircraft agnostic, focuses on onboard autonomy rather than remote piloting, and is destined for a wide variety of public and private sector aircraft. Merlin announced the first public implementation of its technology with a partnership with Dynamic Aviation to automate 55 high-performance King Air platforms that will support a wide range of public and private sector missions. The first aircraft from the partnership is currently in flight trials in Mojave. After the break, the drama continues. Archer issues a response to Whisk IP claim. Those details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. After Whisk, Aero sues Archer Aviation. Archer says not so fast. Archer Aviation has filed its answer to a lawsuit by Whisk in which they asserted theft of trade secrets and patent infringement in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California. In the answer, Archer details key information, including that it developed its 12 Tilt 6 design through a leading eBTL independent consultant before any WISC employees ever join Archer. Archer also filed a motion to dismiss, claiming that WISC's case is entirely baseless. WISC's complaint does not identify a single specific WISC trade secret, let alone any evidence 
of misappropriation. Furthermore, there also is nothing secret about using 12 rotors on a fixed wing, tilting rotors, or a V-tail. Whisk patent claims are equally meritless and improper. Archer does not infringe Whisk's patents, and Whisk has no basis to allege otherwise. In addition, Archer filed counterclaims of tortious interference and unfair competition, alleging that Whisk has made false and unsupported public statements outside of the litigation designed to harm Archer, a successful competitor. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with store ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching.